You know, hauling a 250-pound dirt bike in the Silverado 2500 Heavy Duty is like hauling a load of balloons for this workhorse pickup truck. This is Roman Micah with a TFL Car First Look. I was lucky enough to be at the Chicago Auto Show this year when GM rolled out its line of heavy duty trucks. This one for instance has the uh, slightly massaged Vortec gasoline engine. The one you really want if you're doing some heavy duty towing is a diesel version. But come with me and I'll show you the rest of the truck. You know it used to be that heavy duty trucks like this one were the workhorses. People use them for work, but today more and more recreational buyers are getting these because they're using them for things like hauling horse trailers or going camping. And speaking of towing horses, if you have this Silverado configured right with the diesel engine, it can tow a class leading 17,000 pounds, and if you have it set up with the fifth wheel, 21,700. That is a lot of horses. In case you're curious, I'm getting 11.0 miles to the gallon in mixed city and highway driving. Stylistically, you'll have a hard time telling this 2011 model from last year's model. Basically, all the changes are underneath, you know, all the important parts. Uh, it's got a much more upgraded and stronger ladder frame. Um, from the outside, really the only difference is they moved the fake louvers. Otherwise, you'd have a hard time telling last year's from this year's. Now driving a heavy duty truck in the city is not a barrel of monkeys. This is a big truck. The good news is you sit up high and you can see over every car out there. The bad news is it's like piloting the Queen Mary through traffic. If I'm being honest with you, and you probably can tell, I'm not a truck guy, I'm a car guy, so my critique of this uh, heavy duty pickup is gonna be limited to a car guy's opinion. And you know, inside the plastics are a little cheap. Uh, I absolutely hate the door handle placement. It's way down low. Everybody I've ever had in this pickup can't get out of the thing. Um, you know, it's a work truck. If you want a pickup just to haul stuff around on the weekend, this is probably not the best choice because it's at least up to here on me and it's not easy to load unless of course you're hauling some really heavy stuff. But on the other hand, if you're just going to help your friend move some stuff on the weekend and that friend doesn't have a really giant boat or just a whole bunch of horses, there are probably better options out there for you. Roman Micah reporting for TFLcar.com.